The sport of horse racing is at a crossroads, and like so many other businesses in the world today, the future is uncertain. Our responsibility is simple, to keep horses safe and the sport honest. It's not an easy job, but it's one we all struggle with each and every day, with limited resources and in many ways, legal limits on what we can and cannot do. It's my plan for the time I will serve as chair to not only continue the fine work that has preceded me in this position, but to move collectively forward on initiatives that can strengthen what we do. In the United States, the racing industry has an uncoordinated and sometimes diverse strategies to strengthen what we collectively do. Though well-intended, efforts have been underway for decades to have these fractions from achieving significant progress in many forms. The horse racing industry is not one organization or one breed or one segment. There are tens of thousands of people all want the same thing, a fair shot in a race with a healthy horse. This is the bottom line we strive for. Everyone wants uniformity. The ARCI model rule process has been praised by every racing organization. It's deliberate, inclusive to the collective wisdom of the industry and its regulators. The main criticism of the RCI model rules is that we do not have the ability to force jurisdictions to adopt the model rules. But Congress, the Canadian Parliament, and or state legislatures can. The quickest path to uniformity is in incorporating the RCI model rules by reference. This would be a great assistance in the state of Nebraska as our rulemaking process is very cumbersome. I started my racing career as an investigator. Today, the cooperative relationship that exists between commissions, federal, state, and local law enforcement, federal and state drug and pharmacy regulators, as well as prosecutors have never been stronger. Agencies that we once were uninterested in horse racing cases have a new understanding of what we do and resources we need. We have to continue to build and foster these relationships with our federal, state, and local partners. Our efforts would be strengthened if we had assistance of a multi-intelligence, multi-jurisdictional intelligence and investigative entity that could combat, develop doping cases for us, pursue doping cases. We need boots on the grounds to develop intelligence, doing vet records, billing statement audits, and referring violations to the appropriate authorities, whether it be a commission or other enforcement entities. Remember, Lance Armstrong was not caught by a laboratory. He was caught by intelligence. In the U.S., efforts for a federal legislations have focused on creating a new way to make rules. The rule process is not broken. I propose that we focus on these efforts on creating a multi-jurisdiction investigative slash intelligence entity to help us enforce the rules we now have. Federal legislation could be very helpful in this focus. Education and training of investigators is a priority of mine. I am pleased to announce that a formal certification program will occur jointly between the RCI and the University of Louisville later this year. This will occur on October 5th and 6th. I strongly encourage your investigative staff to participate. We suffered a great loss with the passing of John Wayne. He was not only a friend to many of us, but an inspiration to all. I was blessed to have worked with John on this project. I know he will be with us in spirit. We will make one of his dreams come true. This is a time when we must reevaluate how we operate. What's working, what's not, what's practical, what's not. 
One thing we all know is that tomorrow will be a different day from today. We must open to new ideas like privatization of anti-doping and drug testing programs. Our labs, like labs, have been doing in human sports. Whether the RMTC, despite all its good work over the years researching thresholds, is the right entity to pursue the real doping threats we face? I'm not sure. Whether non-disclosure agreements required by private organizations or regulatory personnel or vendors compromise the regulatory function. Strengthen the accreditation program for testing labs to eliminate conflicts and to assure independent and accountability to regulatory entities who have the primary need to know that their labs are functioning as they should. Under Chairman Sweeney, RCI proposed that the breed registry take on the animal welfare regulations of all horses intended to race, closing a gap in our regulatory framework. It is my intent to continue this initiative. I would like to conclude by thanking all of you and let you know that I plan to lead this organization in the coming months but I am most thankful to the ability to consider you all my friends. I have come over the years to truly appreciate the RCI as a family. We help each other when needed, help us all grow to ensure the integrity and safety of this sport and our beautiful animals. In closing, I would like to say, let's make racing great again. Thank you all.